Hello. In a short video, I'm going to walk you through how to test Oracle. So with WorkSoft Certifying, we have automated the testing of Oracle Forms, which makes it ultra easy to include part of your larger end-to-end -end processes or maybe your Oracle upgrades. With the Oracle eBusiness Suite, we have an interface specific to the Oracle Forms. Obviously, we test the web interfaces, but in this video, I'm going to show you the Oracle Forms specifically. Uh, we have super fast capture technologies here and lightning fast playback and there's fully automated object recognition. So it makes it very easy for anybody to walk through Oracle Forms in the eBusiness Suite, record and playback their test cases. So the way I want to do this is I'm going to use Capture. So I can see here's, here's my workshop Capture and I'm going to start recording. I'm going to give this a name, my Oracle Business Suite, and then in my case, I have a Purchase Orders button. So as you can imagine, when I click the Purchase Order button, what's happening is I've gone from the Oracle Web application and actually launching into the eBusiness Suite. So this is a Java Web Start Oracle Forms application that's launching for me. So this means that not only do we need to test things like browsers, but also these Java web starts. So the way we do that is I'll stop recording here. And we can see the click of the button for the browser occurred. And if I click my capture interfaces, I have web, but I also have Oracle forms. So this interface specifically understands how to interact with the Oracle application. I'll come back and just keep recording. So in this case, you'll notice I'll start interacting with the UI and start giving it data. And if I sneak over, I can see the capture was capturing this the whole time. So as I walk through the application, everything was captured. This is the same way that we do for other applications. And I'll click Save. And I can close the form. We'll see it interacts with the modal dialog. The pop-up button happens. I can actually quit the Oracle application. And I'm done with my recording. So at this point, what I've done with Capture is I've recognized that I have started with a web browser into the application. It launched, I input the um, supplier, the item I want to purchase, and the price and walk through the workflow. So what I'll do is I'll just send this over to Analyze. And what happens is it'll be imported and I'll get a documentation of my process and I'll be able to see my test case. Okay. So if I come over here to Analyze, if I refresh my workspace, I'll see here's my eBusiness Suite. This is the application that I just um, walked through. If I right click, I can see details about the process. So I have my captures and my images of everything I've walked through. Okay. Um, I can create documentation for this, um, or I can go to my capture listing and see the capture here and generate documentation also. So here's my capture, my EBS4 activity flow. I'll say create documentation. And I'll create a PDF. So what's happened is Capture has seen how I've interacted with the web application or Oracle eBusiness Suite. It's taken screenshots and created a narrative for how I've interacted with the application. So if I come to my documents, what we see is here's my Gin doc. So here's my business process documentation of what I did. So ideally, a business analyst could come through and do their daily job and walk through and say, I want to create a purchase order. We see they click the button with the narrative. They've gone through and they've entered the supplier and all the information into the table, and then gone through and saved it and created the application. So think about a business analyst or product owner, or maybe just a normal business person can walk through their interactions with the Oracle Forms application and create this document. Now, the interesting thing is I can now take this document and use it for automation. So I can do this a couple ways. I can actually um, come over here into my capture list. 
and I can say here's my activity flow. And what I'm going to do is I can create automation, download the capture. I can do from here, um, or I can come to my um, capture and just click save. So I've got several ways to save this to disk. So I'll just click save. And now I've saved this XML file. I've got it locally, and I've actually got it stored over here in Analyze, so I can get to it multiple places. So let's see what it looks like to actually build some automation with it. I'm going to open Certify. I'm going to do right-click and import my capture. So here's my version 3. And I'm going to call this EBS3. And notice it's picked Oracle Forms for my web and my Oracle forms for my web application so it's automatically identified my objects in a proje project for me. What this means is technically I'm not going to get any duplicate objects. It's recognized they exist in the application version which helps me long term with maintenance. If I open my test case, I'll see here I have steps. There's my activity. I've le left clicked the purchase order. I've input staples and the bike parts. So my Oracle forms is being manipulated. Um, I've already created a process right here which is a login process, which will log me into Oracle Forms. So that's a shared process. I'll just use that, and then I'll run it. So if I come here and kick it off, what we'll see is I have the execution window where Certify runs. I'll click Run and see what happens. So the login process will open the browser for me. In this case, IE. It'll log me into Oracle Forms. I'm now on the web application. I click the purchase order. And what we'll see is this causes the Oracle Forms to Java Web Start. So I, you notice I didn't put any wait or sleep steps in. Um, Certify knows how to wait for the application to come into state. Okay. Or Oracle Forms is coming up. Looks like it's about to open my application window, and it'll run. Oh, there we go. So I've entered staples, and there's my bike parts, my quantities, my price, and I'm navigating to execute out of the application. So we can see now it's run and everything passed. So what you just saw is I used the Workshop Capture technology to navigate between web pages and Oracle Forms. Um, I recorded a test. I created a business process document. I imported the test and ran it. So ideally, when you're working with your teams, you talk about developing your regression tests, your end-to-end -end functional tests with Oracle Forms. You can see it's very easy, and there's things that business users can do to capture and create documentation, and you'll import that into Certify and run it. Thank you for your time.